Um, obviously, back in 2016, you faced Unai Emery in the final of the Europa League. I just wonder, what step was that in the development of Liverpool to the side that we see today? Oh, I didn't think about that final for a while, to be honest. Um, when I thought about Unai now, because we faced him after, uh, against Arsenal, for example. So... Um, um, it was important. Uh, I said it after that, that, that night. I think um, that we will come back <laughs> without knowing that we will come back. But I, 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 in that moment, I, I really thought uh, we have a good chance to come back stronger, uh, and we did. That night was a was a tough one to take. We played a really good first half. Should have scored more. Scored one more. Didn't count. Can't remember the reason anymore. To be honest. Um, but it was like game number 64 or whatever in that season. It was an incredible tough season for us. A lot of injury problems when we arrived there. Players only came back a um, few days before the final. So you cannot really compare football games, especially not when six years lie between them. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yes, um, if look would have been anything different. Um, since then, if we would have won that night, I don't think so, to be honest. So I would have loved to lift the trophy that night. But um, how it is, you have to, to learn from these things, and that's what we tried to do. And this season, obviously, we keep talking about the expectation that comes with still fighting for trophies on three different fronts. When you're coping with that, what also kind of a test did Villarreal represent? Because obviously you've been able to analyse them since we, we last spoke to you about them. Two days ago. <laughs> yeah, we didn't speak about Villarreal. <laughs> didn't, didn't we? Uh, yeah, of course we did. Not speaking about it, but um, yeah, of course we, we did the proper analyse. And um, we have all. Um, I had a lot of respect for Unai Emery and Villarreal before um, because I saw the games, obviously, but only with one eye against Bayern. Um, you were a little bit. Um, but meanwhile, I watched them properly and um, wow. Um, impressive. Um, Una is obviously, a, 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 or looks like, when you watch his team, he's a detail obsessed uh, manager who um, prepares for all different situations in a game. Um, and that's what his team is executing. It's really, it's really, really good. Different ways to build up, different ways to, to press, different ways to re react on different results. Um, uh, really, really impressive. And obviously, um, Una is a world class coach and did an, 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 is doing an incredible job there. So, uh, saying that, the good thing about all the analysis, we are not involved in this game, so that's where we, we have to fit in our, us then. And um, yeah, our job has to be we must, have, we must make life as difficult as possible uh, for them as well. Um, and that's what we, we try to do over these two legs. Thank you, Vinny. We've got to Juliet, and I'm after hands for any more questions. Mersey side after Juliet. Juliet. Um, Jürgen, you've spoken a lot about every game being a final and how you must treat every game about being a final. But, but when did that when did that change? Because it, it just seems to be at the start of this calendar year, 2022, that that's been the sort of mission and challenge that, that, that you've been on. I think the moment was when I came back from my COVID break, to be honest, and I saw, when I watched the game against Chelsea. What's the next game, Brentford? After Chelsea, next league game. I think it was Brentford, if I'm right. So it was obvious. I think we were 14 points behind, and then it, um, um, in that moment, two games in hand, blah, blah, blah. And that's where we, we just um, decided <laughs> let's give it a try. Um, because it's easy in these moments, we have big expectations before season, big ambitions, and then, then during the season, it's it's okay. We played okay season until then, but obviously not an outstanding season. Um, and that's what there was still there was still something to go for, and it's in our in our situation always the same. We have to um, the main thing we have to do first of all is to qualify for the Champions League the year the next year. It's a big moment, to be honest. I think we we, we did that two games ago, if yeah. I'm right, after the United game. Six to go, yeah. After yeah. So it and it slipped team. through my fingers. What never happened before in my life, to be honest. It was usually a night where I think. We really celebrated, but um, I had to get reminded um, about that fact. And um, the next day, 
Um, so that's big, and that's what we what we had to try. Obviously, we, it was not only City in that moment; it was Chelsea in front of us, and, and other teams. Pretty sure I don't know it anymore. Yeah, but since then it is a, it is each game a final. Actually, each football game should be like a final. But it's, um, if you have to make it up too much, then it's maybe not that that clear, and um, you cannot really uh, behave like that. But since then, since then we behave like that. That's the truth, and so it will not change until somebody tells us it's not worth fighting anymore and um, we try. It just seems like incredible because I think the only defeat is in, was against Inter Milan or has been against Inter Milan in this in this room that you've been on. Please again. I think yeah. it, it's just impressive because I think the only defeat in this run uh, was, Inter, was Inter Milan in this competition. Yeah. Um, uh, where we, we had no other chance. That, that's that's how it is. We, we are here because we had the results we needed. So that's it. And we don't have to talk today, and especially not today, about um, other competitions because um, our full focus is definitely on 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 the, on, on the Real in the semi final. Um, and that is this is absolutely special to be part of the semi final. It's crazy. It's crazy, really. It's a massive game. And if you um, so many coaches, so many players out there try. And work their socks off their whole life and have no chance to be to be close of a semi final and, and we are there so we have to cherish it we have to appreciate it, of course but we have to enjoy it as well and um, and then yes we face a very very difficult opponent that's that's true they are made for this competition to be 100 honest with the way they set it up it's 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 really really good um, the I think. There they, they might might have been a little advantage in the in the last two games that might you were or maybe Bayern underestimated them, but that never happened to us. These kind of things, and especially after these four games, it, it, there's no chance anymore. So this little advantage might have gone. But apart from that, they have still um, they are still a really uh, a really really good football team who is um, obviously wants to. To make history as well. Um, first time, would be, I think it would be the first time that they would go to the would be part of the final, which is a massive thing for Villarreal, I can imagine. So, but it is for us the, it's the same, the same um, importance. We we wanna we wanna go there with all we have, and that's what we have to show tomorrow night. Terrific. We go Merseyside, then we go to uh, Dom, and then I'll see if anybody else wants any more. Okay. Yes, BBC Merseyside first. Hi, Jürgen. Um, you said that Villarreal are made for this competition. Do you see a difference in tactics from their domestic form to their European form? I can also know a lot about the domestic form, but they're seventh in the league, but they won uh, quite a really good um, uh, run of results. Um, I don't know exactly how it was the first part of the, first part of the season was, but. Um, they after the they won the, the quarter final against Bayern I think so in between the quarter final and right they played Bilbao I'm not one thousand percent sure and when I changed eleven times and they, they they drew there. And now after that they won against Valencia, which is they were in the cup final so which is difficult as well. So it's um, they and then the next one. So they have obviously they now found Definitely, I feel if the season would go longer, they probably would end up again in the, in the, in the Champions League spots or wherever. Um, but um, that's how it is. Spain is obviously a very competitive league as well. Up there in the league, if, if there's um, always the same three pretty much. And then uh, Sevilla, Sevilla this year, really good. So these kind of things, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult um, league to play in and to be successful in. Uh, but made for it is just because they have, Una really shows that he has a, a, a plan for each result. Well, as long as the game is no nil. When you're one up, when you're one down, um, more possession, less possession, all this kind of things. In a league, you can see there are games where they have much more possession than there are other games where they have lesser possession. So it's just everything is there involved, and um, it, they're always, when, if they're not winning, they're close to it. That's really impressive. So that's what I have to say. And that's why in the cup competition, you need obviously exactly that a plan for each possible result. First, go for it, and then deal with it. And that's what we have to do as well. Probably, sorry, I'm going to have to go around the room. We've got quite a few other apologies. We've got Jordan coming up as well, so I'll come to you for that. So, Dominic, then we'll go to the gentleman there and we'll finish with Carl as it stands. So, Dom. Yeah, because it's, it's three years since your, your last Champions League semi final here in Barcelona. And this needs to be respect in the way you're speaking about Villarreal. It, it's clear that you're going to need, you believe, that there's going to be need a performance of the quality of the beat Barcelona that night if you want to stand there. Yeah, we need. 
Yeah, the atmosphere, we need, a, uh, we need uh, the, the, the performance, we, well, we need a different performance as well because it's a completely different game. Um, Barcelona has obviously that night set up completely different to what Villarreal is doing. But yes, we need a big game. We need, we, we need, on top, we need to be on top of our game. I need to be on top of my game. So before the game and then during the game, the boys as well. So, but that's completely fine. Completely fine because it's semi final. Um, Champions League, um, that, that, that <laughs> if that would be easy, then something would be really completely wrong. And that's why I'm, 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 I can't wait. Honestly, even in this hectic schedule and playing all the time and this highlight here and a week with City United Everton. Um, but if you need a uh, next game to be 1,000% in, yeah, then bring on Bill Real in the a, in a, in a Champions League. Fantastic. OK, last two questions. We'll go to the gentleman there uh, and then we'll finish with Karl Mark. Hi, Bob. Hi. Sports Brazil. Uh, all this season, uh, Liverpool players... Uh, 20 different good players have uh, scored goals. Uh, I was just wondering, what does that mean for you? Uh, it means maybe that uh, Liverpool uh, can find out different kinds of ways to, to break different kinds of defensive system. Yeah, first of all, is a wonderful stat. statistic, to be honest, because um, I never had that. To be honest, that 20 players of my squad scored a goal um, during the season, which is wonderful because uh, in, in the world they're living in, uh, uh, I think, for me, a block on the line is like scoring a goal, to be honest. Uh, to block defensively a ball on the line is like scoring a goal, but we don't count them. <laughs> There's no, no list for that. Um, and so otherwise, Ali didn't score. Did Ali score this season already? <laughs> no, but he had obviously he had obviously a few saves which are I, I count like scoring a goal to be honest. So um, uh, no, it's great. Yes, and there are different ways to, to win football games when you have to find one. So that's how it is, and that's what we had to show um, this um, um, ability or strength we had to show the weekend. You know, because if you know, the first half is obviously not really good, um, but that doesn't mean you should stop there. No, you should start from there. Learning from the first half, try to improve our uh, cost or pull more proper. So, uh, and then we scored goals, obviously. And one of them was Robo. Was Robo's first goal? No. I think he scored before. Did Robo score before? Come on, it's a question. Did he? Yeah. Carlos. Second season. Second Great Second numbers, season. Robo. <laughs> um, yeah, but he celebrated like it was his first. <laughs> In front of the cop. First in front of the Good. Um, <laughs> Now I found a way, and maybe you open the box of the Pandora. So, um, no, it's uh, yeah, we have to we have to find a way tomorrow as well, and the next and the next leg. This is this this legs. They have two. We have two halves to play. One is here, one is there. We know that um, when we go to Villarreal, uh, whichever result we we get tomorrow night, this will be an incredibly emotional um, atmosphere there, and that's what we have to create tomorrow night as well. That's how it is. So it's nicer if you play first away and you have a result you can fight for in the second half at home with your crowd. But yeah, who cares? We cannot. We cannot. Um, that's now how it is. And so we have to make sure that we really are completely on top of our game. Everybody in the stadium, because um, I, I, our, our supporters are, are smart supporters. They know and they watch football and they know that they, that we are very really strong. But there are moments where we will suffer tomorrow night. Definitely, I, I know that now already, and that's what we have to be ready for. And there's not no no need for getting nervous or whatever. That's how it is, and um, but we can make them suffer as well, and that's what we have to do all together. So this advantage now, first at home, we have to use. I don't know which result we will get, whichever result we will get, we will work with it and f and, and and fight at Villarreal because it means everything to us to 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 reach the, the Champions League final, and that's again what we have to show. Just before you start, Carl, Jordan's gonna, John Henderson will come straight in. If we can leave the uh, recorders on the table, it will be uh, dovetailed straight into the next press conference. So, Carl, with the final one for you. Yeah, you, you spoke about playing these every game as a final for so long. And, and I'm assuming that's just now the expected standard for, for Liverpool. You have to play every game and you have to win every game. Just wondering, do you ever stop to think what sort of toll it takes on you and the players having to play under that sort of... Pressure is that just accept that that comes with the the territory you're expected to win the every game throughout the whole season and next season and season after. Uh, since I'm here, it's like this. We just didn't do it in the beginning often enough, but it was exactly like that wherever we go. 
whatever situation you're in, you're good or bad, you won the last game, you lost the last game, you're Liverpool or wherever you arrive, um, everybody will fight like it's the last game of the season against you and um, we have to make, we, we have to fight like it's, we, we didn't win for the last 12 years. Um, that's the situation since I'm here. Didn't change. It's just like um, uh, the situation in general gave us this extra. So you want to do something this year, especially we should better start now, because otherwise um, it could be over before it, it really started. Um, that's it, pretty much. Um, there's a yeah, better situation and, uh, since I'm here. I cannot remember. Do you remember game uh, when you thought, well, that is today? Nobody cares. So I, I, I really can't remember. And that's, uh, yeah, so the mindset was like this, is like this, will be like this.